This is the battle you've been waiting for. Google Stadia versus Xbox Project X Cloud. Who has the better game streaming service? Let's find out. So Google Stadia is finally here. It's official, you can get it. I have one, you can go and buy it now. Uh, but I've also been using Project X Cloud for quite a bit of time. Now, both of them are streaming services that give you the ability to stream your games uh, to your mobile device, or in case of Stadia, you can stream to your TV through a Chromecast. Uh, you can stream on Chrome browser, either on your desktop or your laptop or Chromebook Go, and also your smartphone, which is currently limited to a Pixel device, so Pixel 4, Pixel 3, Pixel 4 XL, and so on and so forth. So what do we have with the Google Stadia? Now, when you get the Founders Edition, which retails for $129, you get a controller, you get a, a Chromecast Ultra, a specific one that works specifically for Stadia here. You get a charger, some cables, uh, and boom, that's all you have. Now, the controller itself is a mixed hybrid between a PlayStation controller and an Xbox controller. It's got a Stadia button, uh, which is kind of like your home button that shows you all your different stats. Uh, you also have a Google Assistant button, which doesn't work right now. And I will mention the few features that just don't work at launch, and which is fine, I get it, those things happen. Uh, but the controller feels comfortable. I, I think you'll get used to it. I just don't personally like the thumbsticks in that PlayStation setting. It's just not my style. So uh, take it as you will, but I think the controllers are solid. Now, the controller connects to, of course, either your smartphone, your laptop, or your Chromecast. And to set up the controller, you have to use the app on your smartphone. Everything with Stadia centers around the mobile experience. I'll again say it again. It centers around the mobile experience. If you're playing Stadia on your TV or you're playing on the Chrome browser and you want to buy a game, you have to buy it off the mobile app. That's where everything houses uh, there. Now, speaking of games, Stadia comes with 22 games. You get two games free and the two games I got were Destiny. Uh, Destiny's uh, two kind of like uh, special edition and uh, uh, Samurai Showdown. Now, both games, I was able to play both of them on my Chrome browser immediately, and I still noticed some, some glitchnesses and some slowdowns. It does look good. I'll say the games look at about 1080p resolution max, and especially playing on the TV where uh, Google promised 4K60, I have not got 4K60 yet. Tomb Raider looks the best, but it also looked like a high 1080p game. Now, speaking of some other features that, of course, you have with Stadia is the fact that, yeah, you can uh, play those games and you can switch from uh, your TV to your, Chrome, your Chromebook to your phone instantaneously. So uh, playing uh, uh, Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on my TV, uh, once I switched over to my Chromebook Go, it paused on the TV and I just have to continue on my Chromebook Go. So it's a very simple, seamless experience. Now, playing on your TV, you're using the remote control, uh, the funny thing about it is that that's the only time you have a wireless setup to play of course, uh, Google Stadia. If you're playing on a smartphone or you're playing on your PC, it is a tethered experience when you're playing on your smartphone or if you're playing on a Chrome browser. Now, a couple of things to mention here before we take a look at what Project X Cloud does differently here, right? So what about latency? How, how do games run? How does it feel on Stadia? I will tell you my experience has been a little bit mixed. My internet speeds are 75 up and 75 down, which should be fine according to Google specs. And I will say when playing games like Mortal Kombat 11, uh, there are certain points where I had just random slowdowns that happened, especially while playing a fighting game, can be annoying. Same thing also playing with Destiny. It was really twitchy with the controls. It was better with mouse and keyboard than with the controller, even though I was tethered in. Uh, so that's something to take note. Uh, but I still felt some of the twitchiness there. Uh, Tomb Raider actually ran probably the best out of all the games there. Now, when you look at Project X Cloud, we've seen that. I have a video about that. You can go check it out. But what Project X Cloud brings to the table is the ability to stream games from Microsoft server directly to your smartphone. 
xCloud is only limited to mobile devices and on the Android ecosystem for now. Microsoft has said that it would expand to, of course, the iPad and more devices as they move along. But with Project xCloud comes with 50 games. The process is pretty simple. You sign in with your Xbox account and you've got access to a ton of games. And Microsoft said they will be adding more games as months go ahead. So that's already a clear difference between uh, Stadia, which has two free games and you have to pay for games. And most of those games are much older than what you see already from Project X Cloud off the bat. The extra benefit of Project X Cloud is you can stream directly from your Xbox console. So if you're like me, you have an Xbox at home, you can go ahead and switch to Xbox streaming and stream directly from your Xbox at home all the games you have on your Xbox. Now, if you also have Xbox Game Pass, then you have a huge library to stream from as well. So you have the ability to stream games that are from Game Pass to your phone and play anywhere. Now, Xbox streaming on uh, Project X Cloud is actually really good. I got to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is a new game which you can't play on Google Stadia, uh, on my smartphone, my Galaxy S10 Plus streaming. I played multiplayer, I died a lot, but it worked well and I didn't notice any negligible slowdowns whatsoever. Now, just to let you know, Project X Cloud is set at 720p on the mobile experience. That's what Microsoft has said, but it looks pretty good. I also got to play some Far Cry 5 as well, and that handled quite well. And finally played some Mortal Kombat 11, and I didn't experience slowdowns there. Now, playing, of course, Project Cloud games from the Microsoft server, uh, I played a ton of games in my previous video, uh, Forza Horizon, uh, Gears 5, Halo 5. Now I will say Gears 5 was the only game that had the most amount of latency issues, especially with audio syncing. Now there's one key difference with both devices here. When we take a look at streaming uh, Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on both uh, Stadia and Project X Cloud on Stadia. It runs really well. You're streaming on Wi Fi. You can see the resolution is about 720p ish or so on the Pixel 4, and everything ran pretty well. Now, on Project X Cloud, also running at 720p. Uh, this is streaming from the X Cloud servers, ran pretty well as well on Wi-Fi and also when I switch to LTE, the one thing I'll notice is that it will kind of take you out and take you back in. Uh, they haven't fixed that yet because it's a beta, but you can play the game on LTE and the experience is really similar, depending on your LTE connection. So that of course will come into play. But this is also something that xCloud has over uh, Google Stadia. Google Stadia does not allow LTE gameplay only Wi-Fi. So if you're on Wi-Fi and you, if your Wi-Fi and you want to go off Wi-Fi and play, you cannot do that currently in Google Stadia. I'm sure that will come in. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so what are the key differences? Stadia looks good. Uh, the games played fairly well. Some games had laggy issues. Some games did not. So what's, you know, what's the difference here? Well, the very first thing is uh, Stadia is a paid service. As I mentioned, it's $129 for the Founders Edition and it's $9.99 a month for 4K60 streaming. Now, you'll get, you're going to get that first three months for free, but sometime in January, February, you'll be paying $9.99 a month. The thing here I'm not seeing is that I haven't seen 4K60 at any point in time that I've been playing with, uh, with Stadia and hopefully that will come, but it is not then available. And Stadia has the ability to play on multiple devices like your MacBook, your PC, as long as you have a Chrome browser, your TV and your Pixel device, while Project X Cloud is limited to just Android phones and tablets right there. But Project X Cloud has more games and its cost is much, much minimal. As long as you have Xbox Live Gold, which is cheaper than 129, you do have the ability to go ahead and start playing Xbox games, which are more than what you have with Stadia. So there you have it. I think overall, both services are good. I do like Project X Cloud more because it's a beta and it's free. And Stadia is also a beta, let's just be honest. This is not a full-fledged service. Uh, I know it will get better, but right now Google is lagging behind 
than a beta service with its full fledged service. So hopefully that changes. But what are your thoughts, guys? Who has Stadia? Who also has uh, Project X Cloud? What are your experiences? Let me know. If it's something different, if you think I'm wrong, if you think you've experienced something entirely, you know, out of this world, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.